The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Wait. No, no, that's not right. Cut to the real footage. Greetings programs, and welcome to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Yeah, one of my favorite games in the Metroid series, alongside Metroid Fusion. This freaking game, man, I love this game. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. I've played this game a bunch of times before, but for this one I'll be starting a fresh run, and uh, I'll only be going through on normal mode. I might stream some hard mode later. But let's just say that this game is difficult enough on normal mode to uh, warrant just going through on normal for a Let's Play. Planet Xabies. I pl called this place home once in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission. Oh, Samus. Hey, friend. So this might look familiar. Any of you who have played the original Metroid, this is basically the original Metroid. Morph ball to the left. However, there are some pretty significant differences. Like the status screen, for one thing. Double tap down to take ball form and gain access to the narrow passageways. Hmm. I swear to you, there was something different about that wall. Whack. Can't wait till we get access to the long beam. Anyway, the cool thing about this game is that it's almost impossible to really get lost for any significant period of time. The game, it's pretty forgiving, tells you what to do. Ah, but see, even though Samus controls much better, she controls a lot more like she controls in Super Metroid for this game, you can't exactly take advantage of it all the time. So, let's continue on. We gotta find bombs and missiles and all sorts of good jazz. Here's our first big difference, Chozo statues. These guys will refill your energy, and most of them that are just sitting around will give you a new location point to get to on your map. Awesome. Just listen to that classic remix Metroid music, man. Ugh. So psyched for this game. Get a little save action going on. Righteous. Alright, up we go. Uh, the other way. Whoops. I mean, what is there to say about such an awesome, classic-style Metroid game? I mean, this is what I love about the Metroid series. It's just so awesome. Good old-fashioned exploration, puzzle-solving, and avoiding really annoying enemies like the Ripper. Alright, so we got to get to our first waypoint. We can't quite get through there yet. We need the long beam or bombs first. Grab a little more energy because hey, why not? Stupid Ripper, get out of the way. Yep. Alright, start. Goes to your map. L uh, activate sleep mode. No, we don't want to really do that. 
status screen, looking good. On we go. All right, we can get through this way, but unfortunately we can't get back that way. Wow. Oh boy, what's this? The long beam, yay! Fire long distance shots with this beam. Press L and B to fire diagonally. Righteous. Is there anything that way? No? Okay. Now, just a demonstration of the long beam's capabilities. It's also a little bit more powerful than the regular power beam, which is cool. Yeah, you gotta respect being a little more powerful. Oh, God, I love this game. Oh, dear. Acid. Do I have to go this way yet? I forget. I could go that way. Hmm. Might as well. Yeah, I figured that's what this was. We'll be back here a good bit later. I try to punch those dudes in the nuts. Anyway. Easy there, Samus. Morph ball. Wah! Die. Wah! <laughs> Mini boss. I didn't even take any damage. How about that? I can't exactly claim that I've got like mad skills or anything for this game, but I, I'd say I'm at least competent. Played this game all the way through, I'd say four or five times. Didn't actually beat it in preparation for this LP, but you know, whatever. Jump through there, jump over that guy. And on we go. I see, again, one of the things that this game... Oh man, we need to go that way. One of the things that this game really has over the original Metroid is the triangle jump, for one thing. Uh, but no, the, uh, the graphical style, much, much more... Oh crap, Blitz. Uh, I don't know what exactly those are called, but... You know, referencing EG there, call them Blitz. Yeah, forget the blitz. We're going this way. I think I think that's a save room, so I'm gonna go that way. Yeah. Awesome. Save room. Uh, I'll be trying to keep these episodes around the 15 to 20 minute mark, but I will be updating on progress. So, you know, bear with me if the episodes run a little long or a little short. All right. I'm gonna. Drop us down this way. We gotta have some missiles, man. Oh boy. That's that's ominous. That's definitely not something from the original game. Shoot. Missiles! Alright. Now I could go back the other way. Oh, press R and B to fire. Opens red hatches. Could go back the other way. Oh, I need bombs. Crap. Flying crapaholic poo gas. I have to go back the other way. Dang friggin' jerk. Back here and fight like a man. Alright, folks. Mini boss time. Crap. Yeah, you can only really hurt this guy with missiles, unfortunately. And I sort of screwed that up. Wow! Jerk. Ugh. Oh well. We'll see that asshole later.
are you, Red Zoomer? Dang it, you're supposed to give me uh, missiles back or health back. I was going to say mana back, but that wouldn't be right at all. Dang it. Crud. There we go. Of course, that doesn't exactly help me all that much. Curses. There we go. Stupid blitz. Thankfully, if you go through the doorway, the blitz go away. Alright, we're going to save there. Where do I want to go? I think I need to go through that doorway above me, the red door. But unfortunately, I think I need five missiles to do it. Like the classic Metroid. Dag nabbit. Alright, friggin' Ripper, get out the way. Bro, these dudes just are not cooperating. Hmm. No, my missiles. That ah, friggin'. Aha, got him. I don't think I should be going this way just yet. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to go back down and enter that red door first. That way is danger. Danger and pain. Cursed Blitz? No! I needed that. Stupid... Yeah. Quit controlling like a doofus, Samus. Alright, now we're talking. What? I could have only used one? Ugh. Oh, crud. Here we go with this again. Flee! Ouch. Whoa. That's a lot of little dudes. Hmm. Fly sacks. Am I going the wrong way? I might be. Ah, oh, jeez. I only need bombs to get through there. Missile upgrade. All right. Bring it on, you jerk. You're mine this time. Ow. Yes, the charge beam. Now we're talking. Long beam plus charge beam. Charge attack, jump with full charge. It's basically a miniature screw attack that doesn't do quite as much damage. Observe. Whee! Also, unlike the Super Metroid move, uh, in Super Metroid if you went into Morph Ball with full charge, you drop five bombs all around you. This one you just sort of shoot forward. Oh boy! Energy tank! Yay! That is that is good news. Okay, I need to get to a save point. We're gonna get to a save point. Call this an LP part. Ah, take that. Alright. Ah crud. Um I can use a map room right about now. Ah! Crow, they fell. Oh, hey, about that. 
I couldn't have planned that one better. Yeah. All right, so down leads to Norfair. We don't want to go that way. We need bombs to go down to down to that little L-shaped uh, hallway. And there's a save room right before what looks to be the bomb room. I want to say. So that save room is our next target. I'd like to say that the charge beam actually makes our regular beam do a little bit more damage, but I don't think it does. Little refill station there. Alright, awesome. Save room! Okie dokie, folks. Uh, I guess that's it for part one of Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, tune in next time. We're probably going to get the bombs and do a little bit more exploring. And hopefully burn our way a little bit closer to whatever our first goal is in this particular game. As for me, I'm Neo Mega Man, signing out. End of line.